Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Thriving Thrifters, Clarissa here. And I have my director. John. And I have my left hand girl. Two. And we're here with another Thread Up Fun Box. This one is from Sewanee, Georgia. So if you're new here, we are a crazy family. And I do this outside of my normal nine to five job. Uh, I buy these boxes when they go up if I can catch them and Sorry. when I get a box <laughs> when I get a box when the little FedEx man graciously delivers my box. What do you got coming? Mm. Holy moly. You got a pile up behind his seat? Holy crap. <laughs> what did you order? I round up the family. I said, let's do a video. So I'd love to have you subscribe. We just gotta click that red word down there that said subscribe. Should be red. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And stay tuned. Mm. Get ready. Never know Fasten what can your happen. Alright, and we also do this little thing where we like to put something in the universe. Something that we want. To be in this box. Keep in mind, it's a thread box, thread up, uh, fun box. So, so it's ten items. Yeah. So. And not likely to be jewelry. We do a round robin, and we each put one thing into the universe. We used to put a quarter million, but now we're down to one thing each. So, Taylor I went last first last. time. So John will go first this time. Nike. And now me. It doesn't kind of feel the box. You can feel Lulu the Lulu lemon. Um, we're content. <gasps> okay, hear us? <laughs> All right, here we go. So, I don't know if anybody's been having luck getting any fun boxes from Pennsylvania, but I know that's what we all hope for. But if we had to rank them, Papa Bear would be Pennsylvania, Mama Bear would be Georgia, and Baby Bear would be Arizona. Arizona, such a game, bro. All right. One, two, three, three. Oh, bubbles. We haven't gotten bubbles in a long time. Okay. Dun dun dun. Mm -hmm. I see underwear in there. All right. Please have the tag. Please have the tag. Please have the tag. Thank goodness they have the tag. It's Fitch too. <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch. Fitch was like, I'm back. Mm hmm. With a vengeance on your panties. These are a size small. And they are 16 US dollars was the retail. Mm -hmm. And they are just, are these for boys or girls? Those are for girls. Okay, so they're like boy shorts. Yeah, for they're girls. Boxers. But they're for panties, little bitty girls. Right? Yeah. Or do you just wear them as shorts? You wear them as wear panties. Either. Okay, so that's what these are. They have the tag, so I will list them. Just Whatever the you want to wear them as, wear them as. White Abercrombie there on the. Waistband. Here is a Vera. I'm pretty sure. Bradley. Yes, this is a Vera. Um, I have something very similar to this that I use as a pill container. Mm -hmm. This is a very cute, funky design. I like it. Um, there's her name. Yes, it is. Um, here's this, but it doesn't have the paper tag that goes on it, but guess what? I have one. <laughs> there you go. Um, does not look used, so I wouldn't feel bad about putting that tag on it. Um, I 
I list all this stuff as you used anyway, even if it's this teal green on the inside. Mm -hmm. Kind of gives me a 70s retro vibe. So that's cute. Cute, cute. You can put your pills in it. Pills or your money or your whatever you want. And this is something artist's loft accessory bag. Mm. This was distributed by MSPCI. No idea. Probably the dollar store. Yeah. And it looks like a pencil pouch. It's pink. And you could just put your pencils in there. And um, pens. You could also put your pills in here. My pill box will probably fit in here. Maybe. My day pills. Mm-hmm. So Not the night is pills, cute. Um, You could also, um, women, you could put your feminine products in this. Tampons. Yep. So that or would pants. be. Yep. I mean, you might be able to like, cram two pads in there, but mm -hmm. that would be good for that. And it's a hard, hard case. And it looks like a makeup thing, so you could easily take it into the bathroom and be sneaky about it. Yep. And if you wanted to even put a pencil on top and act like it's your pencil pouch. I don't know why you'd need to Why'd you carry your pencil like, to you the know, bathroom? They're going to think you're graffiti in the stalls. This is Jenny Bird. Gosh. I used to know what that was, but I, it's eluding me. If you hear heavy breathing, it's not a psycho killer. It is. It is my dog. dog. He's terrifying. Jenny Bird. Look up Jenny Bird. It's going to drive me crazy. So this is just a mixed metal. How do you spell it? J-E-N-N-Y B-I-R-D Mixed metal bracelet. Mm-hmm. Um, all different chain types. Mm-hmm. Is Jenny Bird written on that side too? No. I don't see it. There, there it is. Dang, this stuff is expensive, bro. Does not have any tarnishing. Um, the silver's still bright. So what's the resale? Um, I don't see one that looks like that, but all these are selling for over $70. Oh, all right. So maybe winner, winner. All right, so here is a headband. I think this is supposed to be like, um, not Gucci, Louis Vuitton? Gucci? Yeah. One of those? Mm, no, it's but, more Louis Vuitton. But it's H&M. Or Versace. There's the brand. Versace, that's what I was thinking of. Um, there's the brand. It's just an H&M, and it's $9.99. That's going to retail price there. And it's, um, I don't know if you would call that an orange or a red um, gold, and this feels like silk. And I, I can't, I don't like these because this, this part feels really hard and pokey. Yeah, it's really hard and pokey. I need this to be soft, so. But that's cute, and it has the tag, so this will be easy to list because... Picture of the front. Picture of the back. Ooh, let's see. Um, Pantyhose. Astra Seam and Heel Stretch Stocking. Pantyhose. Will they make me look like that if I wear them? Probably not. Definitely not. <laughs> so, Agent Provocateur. That girl's way too tall. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> difference. <laughs> So I guess that maybe these only come up to halfway. Three quarter. Uh, uh, Mid thigh. Does it say that? Do you see that? No, I'm just looking at the picture. Okay, well I didn't know if maybe that was just. I would say mid thigh and then you wear that little, whatever that stuff is that's just window dressing. <laughs> and the little hooks and straps and stuff like that. Basement Marketplace. Taylor, you can use this as a belt. No. Why? No. She did. She took her shoestrings out of her shoes and used them as a belt. Mix and match accessories. It's a, well, she can't anyway because this is Texas A&M colors. So it's maroon. Ew. She'll cast this out. 
Two for ten dollars. Sell it to an Alabama fan. Or work hey. For them. I like Alabama. No, you like Ohio State. I like Alabama too. I like winners. Alabama's the winner. Yeah, Alabama's the top. These are soft. Ooh, like I bet Target. Yep, stars above. Size small. Which mm -hmm. means they wouldn't fit over one of my thighs. But they're kind of like joggers. They have the elastic on mm -hmm. the bottom. Feel how soft these are. Target makes the softest pajamas. Oh my God. Mine. Told you. Yeah, you could fit a small. Uh, they have pockets. The price has been pulled off. But usually their bottoms are like $9.99. Mix and match. I actually have these in white. Not in a small. But I love them. An They're extra small. So soft. There's a drawstring at the top. Pockets. So cute. I might list them. <sighs> what do we have here? What's up with the booby holders? This is Rose Made. Um, 368 yen, which is probably about 30 US dollars. Maybe. I don't know. The yen is like. 10 to 1, I think. I don't know. So it's just this mer maroon teal, but it doesn't have. Okay, so you just slip it over your it's head. Just a slip over? Yep. For like a training or someone that's not. Um... No, it's probably just like a sports type bra yeah. because, I mean, it's, it's got stuff here. Mm. Um, so that's cute. What size did you say it was? I don't know. I can't find a. It just says 40, and this is not a 40, because I'm close to a 40, and it won't fit me. Um, 368 yen, just says 40 before. You can let me know if any of y'all know. 40 before you get boobs? I don't know. I wish I could wear it. It's very soft. Oh, wait, there's another tag on the inside. <laughs> Nice. Rose made. Oh, duh. It's a size of B80. Okay. Looks everybody like, knows, everybody has a friend that's a B80. It looks like a barbecue is what it looked like on the tag. I don't tag. even know what size B80 is. <laughs> I don't either. It's a European size. It's a Japanese All size. All right, but... last item. Oh, my flux. Oh, I thought it was a pajama gram. Uh, I've sold all my pajama grams and I don't need any more, although they were easy to sell. Picture of the front. Picture of the back. Boom, you see. So, That's what she could do with these if she wasn't opening them. I'm a magician, and I can open things and then reset. You're no Chris Angel. No, I'm much better. <laughs> All right, these are good size because they seem large. There's a little mucklux. Mm -hmm. um, they've got the hard bottoms, so. To wear them outside in the snow. They are size extra large. It says women's slippers, but I don't understand why men couldn't wear these. A man They're with small blue. feet probably could. They're blue and mm -hmm. fuzzy, and they have this cute stitch work on the bottom. And um, doo -doo 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 -doo, no price. The color is Alice Blue. Mm. Still got this, oh, that's the problem, it was hung up. So, I will definitely list these. Picture of the top. Mm, kinda. Picture of the bottom. Boom, let's see. <laughs> so, I think that this is probably the winner. So that's one, two, three, Four, five. Oh, this 
might be the winner, right? Six, mm -hmm. of this Jenny Bird. Um, seven, Vera Bradley. Eight, for whatever you want to put in it. Mm -hmm. Nine, for this. Taylor belt. Yeah, it's just like a strap. Like it's, I guess you just tie it as a necklace. And 10 for the Abercrombie boy short, new with tags. Mm -hmm. Undies slash shorts. All right, so I think this was a pretty good box. Um, I'll be able to list, I probably won't be able to list this because I have no earthly idea what size it is. You can Google it. Okay, I'll try. Um, and I'll definitely list this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have at least six items. So I need to make, I need to make at least $3 off each of those items to get my money back. And I, I feel like I can. So we have reached that point of the video for the quad oh. question of the day. Okay, so would you rather, this is a would you rather question, okay? So would you rather, no, okay, this is kind of dark, No, when you're going to die. Or know how you're going to die. What would you rather know? When. When? Mom? That way I can make sure everything's taken care of Neither. and I say my goodbyes. <laughs> Neither. you got to pick one. I just want to go in my sleep. <laughs> no, there's no option. Just pick one. Then it sounds like you want to know how. Because you just want to go in your sleep. How? Okay, I'd rather think no, honestly, when, because if you knew how and it was something broad, like drowning, then you wouldn't be able to do any swimming activities because you'd be scared, but also if you knew when, then you'd be like, you'd be also scared because you would know that the time is coming, but also you'd live, I don't know. Yeah, but you could live it up if you knew when. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would live it up. Yep. I'd go to bed every night at 7.30. That's I'd wake up. up right there. <laughs> I'd wake up every day right. at 10.30. Yeah. I'd go to the bins. Just That's on that day. That's what you choose to do. Let's go to the bins. Okay. All right, guys. So leave us a comment with would you rather know when or know how. And what was your favorite item out of this box? I think mine was the Mucklux. I like the bra. Yep. If we can figure out the how to list it, I'll list it. And Buddies. subscribe to the channel. Oh, and we will, if you saw anything that you liked, just shoot me an email. Thrivingthrifters at gmail.com. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.